Hello and welcome to another episode of The Foot Geeks. Today we'll be talking about 3D printed orthotics. Now, there's obviously a big change going on with three-dimensional printing and uh, all of these different new features that are out there. And what's, uh, what's neat about 3D printing orthotics is number one, uh, one of the coolest features about it is uh, that you can duplicate the device you know, hundreds of thousands of times millions of times if you wanted to. Not likely that you'll use those in your, li in your lifetime, but uh, the be beauty of it is that you can duplicate it many, many, many times over and it will be exactly the same from one to the other. That was one of the concerns when we started working obviously with orthotics for a number of years. We, uh, we've been using many different materials and we still do uh, because you know in some cases some materials are just better than others because there's some limitations in terms of uh, 3D printing right now where some materials are just not necessarily available yet to print with. But uh, one of the things that we started started with in the beginning was EVA orthotics. Now this, these have been around for a long time. That's probably the closest you can get to 3D printing because these ones are milled out of a particular shape of foam, which is just a foam block itself. And uh, what we uh, do with these ones is we capture the foot in three dimension and uh, then carve it out off a block of foam to create the, the shape of the foot. Now this uh, can then be adjusted to make it fit better into the shoe. And that's, uh, that's kind of one of the downsides obviously with uh, EVA is that if there is any kind of bumps and lumps inside the shoe, this device will um, you know, work around itself around them and then cause the device to potentially not be a perfect fit. But uh, at the same time, for sensitive feet and for feet that you know, require you know, maybe a more gentle support than what a 3D printed orthotic could potentially provide, uh, this can make uh, a world of difference because it's just softer and gentler on the foot. So I'm not trying to you know, be here and, uh, and say that certain orthotics don't work over others, uh, but really more talk about the benefits of 3D printing and what it can accomplish that uh, potentially you know, uh, a more rigid plastic device or an EVA device can't. And uh, obviously some of the benefits of 3D printing that are different than uh, you know, the uh, standard and regular design of a, an orthotic. Now uh, what's neat about the 3D printing is that the material that we use is called flex nylon. So um, <clears throat> we can print it number one in different thicknesses. We can also print it, uh, you know, print a device and make it thinner or thicker in different areas off the particular orthotic device. And uh, as a result, you know, you can get a more dynamic, more flexible device that you know will still control the movement of the foot, but at the same time also give way in certain areas to allow the foot to move more naturally from you know the outside heel strike to the big toe push off. And that's really you know what we try to accomplish with a 3D printed orthotic is be able to create something that's a little more time a little more dynamic than the average orthotic that's out on the market today. And then Therefore, you know, works really well for runners, uh, potentially, you know, somebody that's very active because of the fact that the device itself is moving under the foot and uh, therefore is not completely controlling the foot, but uh, just gently supporting it where it needs to be and then kind of giving way in other parts. Now, uh, another feature that we can do with 3D printing, obviously you can get different colors, uh, but uh, what's neat about them is that we can print, uh, you know, metatarsal pads right into them. That means that the pad itself can be of a more solid form if need be and as a result uh, it's not going to compress like some of the other materials that we would use usually for a metatarsal pad which is either latex or PPT. Uh, a few different materials that are a little softer to make sure that uh, you know the device has a little bit more give to it as you're stepping on it. But with 3D printing we can actually print something in there that can also be flexible or rigid depending on how much support it is that the foot needs. Uh, the uh, other cool feature about 3D printed orthotics is because we're not limited you know, to top covers and, and things like that. Uh, many times what we've decided with 3D printing is that we maybe don't necessarily need top covers because top covers wear, wear out over time and because they wear down, it can potentially cause the foot to be uh, positioned improperly. Uh, whereas, uh, you know, with the 3D printed by not having a top cover, the idea behind it is to allow the foot to always be in, always be in its proper position and not be worried about you know the device uh, changing its shape over time and that's something that can be accomplished with the uh, 3D printed orthotic device. We also are able to print little holes into it. So because you have now a, a space you know a little bit of a hollow space in between the foot and the shoe, the foot can kind of breathe through it. It can sweat through the device. You can wash it. You don't have to worry about top covers coming loose. You just kind of rinse it underneath the uh, underneath this. Uh, sync uh, tab and then there you go. You've got a clean device again. You can scrub it, whatever you want to do. Uh, and um, there's also the ability, as I, as I said before, 
uh, for us to print it a little bit thinner in certain areas and then thicker in other areas to con you know, create more control and less control. This particular device here has a Morton's extension as well. That means that if you have the inability of flexing your big toe joint, we can print that onto the device also and it's kind of all included in one particular device to give you, you know, a solid uh, shape that can, can be put under the, under the foot in, in general. And then also if you have need for a uh, dressier orthotic that you know works in your flats uh, maybe you don't have a lot of space to accommodate an orthotic in your shoes uh, what's nice about 3d printing is it allows us to just print the device very very thin so that uh, you don't have to worry about your heel being elevated out of the shoe so let's say you have a converse or you have you know a ballerina flat that you can't really put orthotics in because you can't remove the insoles something like this is a great option that can be printed narrow it can be printed you know with uh, obviously very limited material in the back to allow your foot to sit properly in the shoe and not affect the fit off the footwear now if you have any questions regarding 3d printing and how this works please feel free to post your questions below. We'd be more than happy to answer. Uh, obviously, the uh, the company that we've been working with to 3D print our orthotics is in the UK. So their name is Podfo. And uh, you can check them out at podfo.com uh, to kind of learn a little bit more about how they go about this uh, in terms of you know printing the orthotic devices. Or feel free to ask us those questions as well. Anyway, uh, if you have any more concerns, post below. Otherwise, we'd love for you to subscribe to us on YouTube and to have an excellent day.